Syria, bro. Bye, bro. In a world where truth can be twisted and innocence can be shattered, one man's life forever changed and will hardly recover. Throughout his life, this man had always vowed to build a strong family, but his plans were torn apart by the deception of wealth as the threads of truth were buried under the strength of lies. As we speak, his wife Bihadija and his three children are fiercely battling against a death penalty which was assigned to them back in 2021. Why is Bihadija not wanted by her family? And how is Dr. Bilali managing this tricky situation? This is their tragic story. Meet Dr. Bilali from Tanzania, a 61-year-old man who is known for the support he has offered to his community through his professional career as an ecologist. But judging by the nature of his wrinkled face, you can easily tell that Dr. Bilali's help to his community has never come back to him as the man lost everything he had worked so hard for from his career to his family and friends. Dr. Bilali was once a man filled with laughter, love and dreams for a better tomorrow. But fate had something different in store for him. He grew up in poor conditions as his father was not able to take care of them because of the injuries he sustained during his participation in the Second World War. His mother was the breadwinner of the family and motivated him to do ecology in university where he met his beautiful wife, Bihadija, whom he later came to marry, producing three children thereafter. But the happy family would not last long as problems started to pop up in a little afterwards. <laughs> It all started with his wife and her siblings who quarreled because of a plot of land. His wife, who is the firstborn among her siblings, had developed a strong relationship with her parents who gave her a plot of land as her inheritance before they died. But when she wanted to claim it, her brothers refused, complaining that she would share the family's resources with her husband who doesn't belong to the tribe. They asked her to divorce Dr. Bilali if she wanted to have access to her inheritance, as she refused. On 29th April 2019, Dr. Bilali received a call when he was not home, informing him that his family was in great danger. I received a call informing me that my wife and children were in danger that I had to pay attention to the situation immediately. I stopped what I was doing and planned a quick return to my house to follow up the situation. Balali quickly noticed that whatever danger this family was in had something to do with his wife's relatives who never wished her well. But amidst the darkness, Dr. Bilali's unwavering belief in the innocence of his loved ones, he vowed to fight for them in order to untangle the web of lies that ensnared their lives. As embarked on that journey, his wife's siblings were doing everything in their power to weaken her. They did everything in my power to nullify my wife. The first time, they accused her of killing a person, and the second time, they poisoned her through water together with our children. I tried to take her to the hospital, and it was very expensive, but later on, they recovered. She took the matters to court, and they threatened to kill her for that. They wrote her a letter saying, eh, Our dear sister, we tried to do everything bad to you, including poisoning you, but you survived. We are power and we have a good relationship with local security authorities. So, your allegations will never affect us at all. We we'll promise you that if you survive beyond April 2019, we will come to kill you ourselves. 
as they had promised in their letter, a day arrived when they came to kill Bihaja and her children. It was one Sunday in April 2019, around 11.52 a.m. They launched a massive attack with machetes, saying that we have to die or flee that place. Luckily, our firstborn boy saw them in advance and called us to escape. My wife fled to the banana tree field and they followed her. When they missed her, they cut down banana trees and other crops as a revenge. We collected all evidence, including photographs of what happened, and reported them to the local authorities. But they didn't seem to care from the beginning. We called them around 12 p.m., but they reported around 4 p.m. By then, our house was already burned down, and our possessions inside were stolen by the mob. <laughs> As Balali and his wife reported the matter to the local authorities, they were surprised to find that her siblings had connived with local leaders and all her allegations were dismissed by the police. Instead, the police took them, Balali's wife and his children, on the claim that they were trying to protect them. At first, it was all good, but later on, the case changed as they were accused of committing murder and they were flown to jail. By that, the youngest boy was 15 years, which doesn't guarantee his imprisonment. The officials who pretended to come to save us asked my wife and my children to board their car and follow them. They reported them to the police station of Moshi, saying that they are protecting them from the threats on their lives. But the following morning, they refused to release them, but conniffed to arrest them. The commander of police station ordered his junior to record the dossier as suspected killers, since the office had a case of 10 people who were killed, but whose killer was still unknown. They wanted my family to be accused of such a huge crime. Balali tried to follow up and visit different offices in Moshi and Dar es Salaam to seek help, but nothing happened. He even reported the matter to the Office of Good Governance and Human Rights in Dar es Salaam, but nothing happened. In the meantime, around 2021, the judge decided that Bill Hajar and his children were convicted with murder and should be punished by death. Surprisingly, right after the court provided its verdict, which is undergoing as an appealing process, Bihadija siblings sold the plot of land which had refused to sell to them. Dr. Bilali is awaiting the court's decision regarding his appeals. We are waiting for the court to consider our appeals. My family members are still in prison for five years, but I will never give up on them, no matter what will happen in the future. I'm optimistic of the favorable results, but I'll be ready to receive whatever outcome. Understandably, Dr. Bilali has suffered a lot from living a solo life, yet his family is languishing in jail. Despite his mental suffering, the man is also struggling with poverty as he's no longer able to work because of constant journeys to visit his family, and his house has been burned by his wife's siblings. This is their fifth year in jail. And throughout that time, I have been the one who took care of them every single time. I have visited them and also followed up their cases on a daily basis. It's exhausting and time-consuming. Besides that, I no longer have a house to live in and my financial abilities to rent another house have plummeted. I spend the night with my neighbors and it's very tough for me. You can help Dr. Bilali to take care of his jailed family members and to build another house through givinglife.com with links, phone in description and pinned in top comments. Dr. Bilali's story serves as a poignant reminder that even in the darkest of times, the power of truth and the indomitable spirit of those who fight for it can triumph over the most insidious lies. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.